Hello YouTube, welcome to Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. It is I, Banded Wendy, your Tuesday vlogger. And uh, I'm sitting here eating my protein, my Greek yogurt, um, mm. dressed up. 250 calories, 25.5 proteins in that bowl. And so for today already, I've had 37 grams of protein. So we're talking protein today. And uh, I encourage you all to grab a pen, piece of paper, jot down the question um, along with your answers. <clears throat> Feel free to comment, make a response video. Uh, the more we share in the community, I think the better we all will become, right? So I guess I should take a second also to find the exact question. I know it's about protein, so give me a second here. Sorry. I made the question. Uh, it's about protein, protein shakes, um, how you get your protein, and what your doctor recommends. Let me pull up the exact question. Here we go. Okay. So, favorite protein shake. That's where this question starts. Do you have a favorite protein shake? Uh, if so, please tell us about it. Uh, and what are the stats, uh, protein, sugars, whatever else you want to share about it. And when do you usually take a, drink a protein shake? And how much protein do you take in daily? Do you have a goal? Um, is it a doctor recommended goal? And if you do not add shakes to nutrition, how do you get your protein? So, do I, my, do I have a favorite protein shake? I'm a lap band patient. Right, I am 2.7 years post-op with my lap band, uh, 100 pounds down, and have maintained my weight 70 weeks. Um, and my doctor uh, with the lap band recommends no protein shakes. The reason for that is we are to eat firm protein. The point of our small stomas with the band is for us to become satisfied quickly and to sustain our satisfaction for a long period of time. And if we are drinking liquids and getting our proteins from liquids, even in the form of a protein shake, it is not firm, it is uh, not keeping us full for a long period of time, and it is going right through where the band is. Now what I will say is, when you're immediately post-op, and you're trying to get in nutrition, it is recommended, and with the lap band, and you have fills or adjustments, um, you need to do liquids. My surgeon has me do liquids for two weeks, 14 days post fill. So at that time, I will also use my own form of a protein shake. I don't necessarily turn to a protein powder. Uh, if I am going to use a protein powder, I use J. Rob whey protein, the best tasting protein on the planet. And I always have one handy, so let me grab one. This is it. This guy has by far the best protein ever. And I like the chocolate. You can make it with water, 110 calories, and 25 proteins in there. I personally like to make it with non-fat milk and some ice cubes and a little bit of fruit, usually frozen banana. Not a whole banana, just some slices. And uh, this is the chocolate, so it's like a Elvis, which I have on my personal channel, Banded Wendy. If you search for protein shake on Banded Wendy, you will find a shake that I make with this. Uh, but if I'm going to do protein powder, this is what it's going to be. But I will take, also with the lap band, some days I'm tighter than others. Um, and I have to do liquids in, in the morning, specifically. And so I'll make a shake. And I basically just take what's in this bowl, which is my Greek yogurt, some uh, unsweetened Hershey cocoa, some uh, Splenda, as well as some peanut butter and honey. And I'll throw that into my blender with some ice and some non-fat milk, and that's how I'll make a protein shake. And, you know, I'm getting 25 grams of protein 
with more calories, uh, but I'm getting my protein and I like it and it tastes good. I don't do it often, right? So with the lap band, it recommended it at 60 to 80 grams of protein per day, right? And I made some notes here. In the losing phase for my first year and a half post-op, I really never ate more than, I mean, there was a, a rarity day that uh, this was not the case. But the majority of my losing phase, which took 68 weeks, I ate 1,000 calories or less, and I consumed at least 60 to 80 grams of protein, some days more, right? Now that I'm in maintenance and have been in maintenance at my goal weight and have changed my fitness level, right? I'm a marathon runner, I'm a triathlete, I do P90X. I mean, I easily, depending on what season it is and what I'm training for, I am easily doing an hour to two hours of exercise six days a week. Um, so do the math, uh, 12 to 14 hours of exercise a week. So I am building muscle and I need to repair muscle. So I always hit 60. And most of the time, I range between 80 and 40 grams of pro 80 and 140 grams of protein per day. Um, I weigh 144 pounds, so it's recommended 1.1 to 1.4 grams of protein per pound of your body mass in order to build and sustain muscle and recover uh, muscle repair. So that's what I do now. If you're not training and you're not trying to build muscle, then you don't need to do that. Uh, but I'm sharing what I do, and it works for me, right? Uh, always go with your doctor's recommendation. It's great to share. If you have questions about protein, talk to your surgeon, talk to your surgeon's nutritionist. Make sure you know. Um, my husband is nine years post up gastric bypass. He has never never drank a protein shake. Never. He won't even try my good tasting Greek yogurt shake. Nope. He gets all of his protein, which is at least 80 a day, um, through meat, cheese, eggs. Yes. Um, the other thing, protein first is a weight loss surgery rule to success for the lap band. My husband also follows the rule of protein first. And if you're picking protein first, you're hitting the mark. You're easily going to hit that 60 to 80 grams a day for the lap band. Um, and, you know, I walk in the circle of weight loss surgery. And I, if you haven't been to my Facebook page, it's proof WLS works. Proof WLS works. And I asked the question yesterday, and we had VSG, we had RNY, we had lap band people talking about how much their doctor recommends, um, what they get in every day, how much surgery, what surgery they had, how much weight they've lost, how long they've maintained the loss, why they do protein, and how they get their protein. So I highly advise you to go there, check me out, Proof WLS Works on Facebook, and you can join in the conversation there also. That would be great. Um, I only eat when I feel hungry. And when I feel hungry, I'm going to get the protein first, right? Again, on occasion, I have a cookie when I might not be hungry. But my rule of thumb, eat when you're hungry, eat protein first. I always hit the mark, right? Um, I want to also talk about the way our body works. As an obese person, I had a lot of fat on my body. And the concept of eating protein first, when you do low calorie, high proteins, you're going to have little to no carbohydrates in your diet, which is a good thing. When you're exercising and just walking through life, the body burns carbs first, then fat, and then protein. Protein is not a good energy source, though. Uh, so by not eating carbohydrates we're not burning carbohydrates going right to the fat so we're burning fat and protein builds the muscle and that muscle uh burns fat right so 
eliminating carbs and eating a high protein diet is going to help you burn the fat. And for myself personally, has melted the fat off of me and has changed the shape of my body. Yes, think about it. Don't eat carbs because whatever ones you consume that are complex carbs, great. The body's going to burn through those as fuel. It's then going to go to the fat, which we all have plenty of fat to burn off. <laughs> And then uh, your protein is going to be the last thing to be used. And that's why if you don't have a lot of fat on your body like me, I'm continuously re-upping my protein, re-upping my protein to repair those muscles and allow it to continue to work for me and burn whatever fat may come my way, right? Um, when I talk for me, when I make a choice about protein and what protein first means to me, it's a 10 to 1 ratio. Example, if I'm going to eat something, and in the losing phase, I was very strict on this. If it has 100 calories, it better have 10 proteins. 10 to 1. If it has 270 calories, it better have 27 proteins. See what I'm saying? If it's got 360 calories, it better have 36 proteins. For me, when I saw that, if it wasn't 10 to 1 ratio, not a protein first food, not what I'm going to eat, right? So <clears throat> I made a list, I asked my husband yesterday, my weight loss surgery hero, when you think of protein, what do you think of? Tuna. He says it's protein, it's good for you, and it's low calorie. And he works on the train, and they have a kitchen on the train, and they have all the steaks and the sandwiches and the blah, 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 gross train food. And when he chooses not to eat that and be healthy, he'll eat a can of tuna. Chicken is the other thing. And he also said in the nine years, what protein he could eat with his gastric bypass has changed. Sometimes chicken works, and then it doesn't work for six months. Sometimes beef works, then it doesn't work for a while. It goes. Uh, for me, I made a list. So here we go. Greek yogurt. I like to add peanut butter, Hershey's cocoa, berries, granola, honey, cottage cheese, eggs, scrambled or hard-boiled or an omelet. Uh, the protein shake I mentioned that I make with my Greek yogurt, non-fat milk. Um, two things that are very rare for me to eat are oatmeal, and I make it with non-fat milk, or I use Greek yogurt in place of the water or the milk. Um, and I mentioned the protein shake with the non-fat milk. Uh, I love to take a hard-boiled egg and add a lot of pepper to it and a Baby Bell cheese. That's a great snack and can even be a lunch depending on where you're at in the journey. I like nuts, I like trail mix, I always use my quarter cup serving, that's the danger with trail mix. You're not going to get the 10 to 1 ratio on trail mix, but it's not a bad idea if you're craving something salty, crunchy, or sweet. Jerky, I love bison jerky, beef jerky, turkey jerky, salmon jerky, tuna jerky. There's all kinds of jerkies out there, you can get low sodium ones, you can get organic ones. If you want jerky, it's a, you'll find the one that works best for you. Uh, beef, whether it's ground beef, uh, my favorite's a filet mignon steak, uh, chicken salad, salmon sal salad, tuna salad, egg salad. I don't use mayonnaise to make those salads. I use plain Greek yogurt or I use cottage cheese. Delicious. Um, when I think of vegetables that I reach for, green beans, which are rare for me, lettuce or spinach in a salad, non-fat black beans and non-fat refried beans. The serving is a half a cup. I never eat a half a cup. I do two tablespoons to go on the side of my protein because I'm always eating protein first. I love to make my meatballs in the crock pot. I like uh, portobello mushroom pizza. So instead of crust, it's the portobello mushroom. And I build it up with cheese and other proteins on top. Again, great protein. Um, turkey breast, turkey breast in the crock pot, uh, deli sliced meat, and I only buy low sodium, and I only buy boar's head. You can eat two ounces of that, 60 calories for 13 proteins of the low sodium chicken breast. Comes to spreadable cheeses, the Laughing Cow Cheese Light. Spread that on a couple of those deli pieces, roll it up, great protein. Um, I like a treat, chocolate covered cherries. They're very expensive. And they're big, and I only need a small number of them, two to four, and I'm satisfied. Um, I always have a tea misto. 
half water, half non-fat, with two tea bags, a little bit of Splenda, great warmth for my stoma and very satisfying to me. In training, post-recovery drink, a blend of carbohydrates and protein recommended worldwide for athletes, chocolate milk. I have that. Um, or in anything that falls into the lean protein 10 to 1 ratio, I go for. So anyway, that's my story about protein. Please be wise about it. Know the more that you eat uh, and the more that you exercise and the more aware of you are about the options for protein. Google protein recipes. Google low calorie, high protein meals. You can find great proteins and learn to like them and you'll forget about all those carbs in the world. Protein first, shake or no shake, I get my protein in every day and then some. It's not hard to do. Challenge yourself to eat protein first and see how much you can get just one day. It's going to be more than 40 grams, I guarantee you. All right, take care. Thanks for watching. We appreciate your support of the channel.